All right, so we turn our attention now to athletics on this Friday edition of the Sports Max Zone. We are officially on the eve of the highly anticipated inaugural staging of the Jamaica Athletics Invitational Meet, dubbed JAI, which will roll out a star studded lineup of world class local and international athletes set to take the track at the National Stadium in Jamaica on Saturday. One such athlete is British sprint star Dina Asher Smith, who will be making her debut on Jamaican soil. She says she's relishing the chance to perform in front of her family and friends in Jamaica. Come here and perform in front of them means so much. And, and when I say cousin, I mean like real cousin, you know, not like, you know, <laughs> like real blood. But um, yeah, I've just been so excited. I've been really, really happy with how the season started off and when I can just have a personal high as well in a race that really means a lot to me and a location that means a lot to me, um, I think I'm going to have fun. World Championship silver medalist from the British Virgin Islands, Karen McMaster, says he's excited to be back where he made his professional debut. We'll take your full advantage of it and basically enjoy the season and just um, going through it, um, I'm happy to be back in Jamaica. I think the last time I ran here was the first time I ran professional in 2017 um, at this same Jamaica Invitational, so I'm just trying to repeat that again. All right, Lance, so we're in for a treat this weekend where we are at the eve of such a big, big event. I think we should start by talking about Dina Asher Smith because a moment ago, of course, I opened my Facebook during the break and what came up on my feed was Shelly and Fraser Price, of course, asking Dina Asher Smith on her Facebook post whether she wants pot covers or screams. <laughs> <laughs> of course, pot covers are a huge part of Jamaican celebration and the stand. So I guess that's where Shelly is going. Never a dull moment with Shelly and Fraser Price is there. Now, Dina Asher Smith had been posting for weeks now on social media about her excitement and her anxiety to compete in Jamaica for the first time. Her dad, of course, is from Jamaica. And although she was born in England, she does have some Trinidad and Tobago roots as well in her, in her family. So she's a Car she considers herself a Caribbean girl. And um, she was the 200 meter world champion back in 2019. And we're all excited to see her perform here. Of course, uh, Marie Jose Talou, from the Ivory Coast will also be here. Well, she is here. To make her Jamaican debut as well. Uh, yeah, and she's competing over the 100 meters. And she has also been excited to be here. A huge fan of uh, Shelly and Fraser Price. One of the first things she did when she came to Jamaica, as we saw in our interactive segment a couple of days ago, was to go to the National Stadium and pose for a picture <laughs> beside the Shelly and Fraser statue. So. Uh, good to have these two outstanding sprinters here. Good to see Kyron McMaster here as well from the British Virgin Islands. Um, really solid to see him uh, competing in an event that at the moment with the Varholm and um, Benjamin from the USA and uh, Dos Santos from uh, Brazil. Really high quality elite performances from these people. And McMaster has shown them from time to time that he's in their league. Um, had difficulties some years ago because he had lost his longtime coach, Dag Samuel, to the hurricane um, while he was, you know, in the middle of his growth as an, an elite athlete. So good to see Kyron McMaster still developing and, and being here in Jamaica now to perform. And as he said, um, it brings back memories for him because his debut as a pro had happened here in Jamaica back in 2017, I think. So I think this is going to be a top, top class meet. The, the first of two elite level meets being staged in Jamaica because the Racers Grand Prix is coming up in June as well. Yeah, and there's also USA's Christian Coleman. I know a lot of Jamaicans also support him. Lance, he will be taking part in the 200 meters. That's also another exciting event. Your thoughts on that one? Yeah, well, the fact is that he has been a 100 meter specialist for a long time and he's a reigning 60 meter indoor world champion at the moment as well. So I think him competing over 200 meters is a good plan for him because it will allow him to be able to sustain his speed for a longer period as he puts in some good 200 meter work. There has been a view that a lot of athletes who double in the sprints actually have more successful years in the 100 when they do a lot of 200s yeah. as opposed to athletes who 
sparingly run 200s and focus on the 100. So I think Coleman's decision here to do a couple of 200-meter races would be geared towards him sustaining his speed to the finish of his 100-meter races because one of the things about Coleman, out of the starting blocks, he's one of the fastest in the world. But a lot of races that he would lose, he would lose them in the last 20 meters because other rivals are finishing faster than he is. And I think him competing in the 200 here now is a statement that he's trying to ensure that he can, you know, increase his strength speed or his sustained speed to help him in the 100 meters. And um, let's see where it works out for him because he's in good form. And I think I heard him say recently that he is probably in the best form of his life. And this is good because it's an Olympic year. Yeah, Olympic year, very, very important because all of the athletes would, you know, want to get that work in um, based on whichever part of their program that they're at right now. But Lance, I'd love to know for this weekend, this event, which, uh, which athlete or which event would you be looking forward to the most? Ah, oh, that's a good question. Um, which event has the I, most number of stars? I, I, I want to see what Talu does in the 100, to be honest, because the 100 for women as an event this year is probably one of the most attractive, apart from the sprint hurdles for women. So what Talu does in the 100 today, to, this weekend is I'll, I'll be having my eyes on that for sure because of what the women's 100 meter event represents as a spectacle for this 2024 campaign in this Olympic year. Shakira Richardson is the reigning world champion in the event. Um, we, we think that Sherika Jackson um, is on her best day, a rising force. <laughs> we all know that Shelly and Fraser Price and uh, Elaine Thompson here yes. on their best days are probably unbeatable. So the 100 is 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 big yeah. for for 2024, as it has been for a past couple of the past couple of years. So what Talu does in the 100 tomorrow, I'll be looking at that. The 100 sprint hurdles as well is gonna be tough. Yeah, a lot to look forward to this weekend. On that note, viewers, let's take a quick break. We'll be right back.